Hello, and welcome to NetApp KB TV. My name is Ellen, and I am a NetApp Technical Support Engineer. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform a fresh install of Virtual Storage Console and maintain backup job information. This video is based on the KB ID 1032060. There are many reasons why a fresh install of Virtual Storage Console might be needed or desired, such as part of a troubleshooting process or part of a migration to a new center. The procedure I'm about to describe will explain how to preserve backup job information during this migration, and it is applicable to VSC versions 4.x, 5.x, and 6.x. In this example, we will be using Virtual Storage Console 6.2p1. Before starting a new installation of Virtual Storage Console, we need to take a copy of the repository folder. Navigate to your Virtual Storage Console installation location and stop the NetApp SMVI service. Once the service is stopped, navigate to VSC's repository directory. The location of this repository directory may vary based on your installation path. In this example, the repository folder can be found in the C drive, the Program Files, NetApp, Virtual Storage Console, SMVI, and Server folder. Copy this directory out of this location entirely. Once this directory is copied to a safe location, Uninstall Virtual Storage Console. After Virtual Storage Console has been uninstalled through the Programs and Features menu, confirm that the Virtual Storage Console folder is also removed. If you still see it in your install location, you may go ahead and delete it. After the old instance of Virtual Storage Console is removed, you may go ahead and proceed with the installation of the new instance. Once the installation is complete, proceed with the registration process. Return back to the vSphere web client. If you're currently logged into the vSphere web client, you will need to log out and log back in for the changes to be registered. In your fresh installation of Virtual Storage Console, start by running a discovery from within the Storage Systems menu. Make any modification to the storage systems as necessary.
Once all storage systems are successfully discovered, return back to the Virtual Storage Console installation location. Once again, stop the NetApp SMVI service. As well as the Virtual Storage Console service. Once these services are stopped, copy the scheduled backups.xml, backups.xml, and backup folder into the new Virtual Storage Console repository folder. Once all three files are copied over, restart the services. Once the NetApp services are started, Restart the VMware Virtual Center Server service as well to register the changes that have been made. This will briefly disrupt access to the VMware vSphere web client. Once the services have started again, open up the VMware vSphere web client. It may take a moment for the services to finish initializing the web client. Once the web client has fully loaded, navigate to Virtual Storage Console, You should now see your original backup jobs. This concludes my demonstration of KB1032060. Thank you for watching.